hey guys let's uh, start with pert so pert stands for project evaluation review technique and this is a probabilistic and event oriented model okay so cpm is deterministic while pert is probabilistic and cpm is activity oriented and pert is event oriented so just remember that so pert is dependent on three times that is optimist that is the positive time most likely is the commonly occurring time okay so most likely is commonly occurring time and pessimist is the negative time okay so pert is just a probabilistic model okay so that's why it depends upon the positive the media core one and the negative timeline okay so time expected that is t e is equal to optimist time plus 4 into most likely time plus pessimist time divided by 6 okay sometimes optimist is given as a pessimist is given as b and most likely is given as m okay in some generally used expressions so time expected becomes a plus 4m plus b divided by 6 right so this is the general expression for time expected in a part okay and then comes the standard deviation so standard deviation is pessimist time minus optimistic time divided by 6 okay so te is expected time tp is pessimist time to is optimist time and tm is the most likely time okay so standard deviance is given by tp minus to divided by 6 while variance is the square okay so tp minus to divided by 6 the whole square is the variance part so ultimately standard deviation is equal to square root of sum of variance now we will see why we have put this summation mark okay through an example we'll see it so i have an example over here okay so it's they have given a project network diagram so let's just uh, draw this diagram okay so a and b has no predecessors okay so they will be individual paths this is a this is b okay so c c d and e are coming from a and b and c are meeting okay so C this will be D this will be E coming from A F is coming from B and C okay F and E are are meeting okay so F is coming from here okay and G is coming from D right G is coming from D we have the fifth node here and h is coming where e f g are meeting okay so h is coming where e f g are meeting so this is the project network diagram okay we have optimist most likely and pessimist time for each of the activities so what we have to do is first step is to find the critical path okay so first uh, you have to find the critical path all right so how you will find the critical path is for that you have to calculate the time expected so we know that uh, te is equal to optimist plus 4 into most likely plus pessimist divided by 6 right so this will give you a uh, time expected okay so calculating that one for each of this uh, it will be 2 plus 4 4 is 16 16 plus 2 is 18 18 plus 12 is 30 so 30 divided by 6 is 5 okay so similarly I will quickly fill up the values okay this is 14 this is 9 just to save your time I hope you will pause this video and uh, try it by yourself also 15 8 nine four and five okay 
so these are the expected time for these activities so this timeline will be a ka expected time is 5 b ka it's 14 c ka 9 d ka 15 15 e ka 8 f ka 9 g ka 4 and h ka 5 okay so calculating this there are many parts like a d g h a e h a c f h a b sorry b f h so there are many parts now so we have to find the part that is most that has the most time okay so the parts are a d g h a e h a c f h b f h okay so adding this time will give me the critical path so five first is a d d h a d g h sorry okay so five plus uh, 15 20 24 29 and uh, this will be 5 plus 8 plus 5 that is 18 this will be 28 this will also be 28 so the critical path is a e g h okay so a e g h this is the critical path okay so now what we have to do is so we have to find the variance only for the critical part okay so a d g h this is a b c d e f g h right so critical path is a and d g and h okay so for this four activities we have to find the variance so variance ka formula is tp minus to divided by 6 the whole square okay so we have all the values so calculating variance will be 2.77 have already uh, calculated this value to save time okay just uh, pause this video and try it by yourself also okay this will be 0 0.44 and uh, this is zero okay so we have the variance we have to find the summation of variance so this summation part is actually for critical activities so it is the sum of uh, critical activities ka variance okay so summation will be 5.984 okay so variance ka summation is 9 5.984 so standard deviation is equal to square root of sum of variance that is uh, square root of 5.984 will give me 2.4463 okay so this is all about calculating variance and standard deviation so let's see how to find the probability of this event occurring okay so going back to the formula page so we have so in question they might ask uh, ask the probability okay so for example i have time expected to complete a critical activity let's say 30 days so they'll ask uh, questions like uh, what will be the probability for this event or this path to be completed in uh, 31 days or 29 days so whatever number of days they can ask and they can ask for the total probability for the particular path okay so in order to calculate that we have this formula z is equal to x minus mu divided by sigma so z is the probability okay x is number of days mentioned in the question okay and u is the time expected and sigma is standard deviation so z is equal to number of days in the question minus this is time expected u is ultimately time expected okay divided by sigma that is standard deviation so let's find the z probability in the same example okay so see now we have the expected time 
for this is 29 days right so what will be the probability for completing this uh, event under 30 days okay why you might think that uh, 29 days so the probability for completing under 30 days will be 100 percent right but this is wrong because Pro uh, project uh, part is dependent on optimist plus most likely plus pessimist right it depends on three factors so people who think optimistically can define 100 but people who think pessimistically may cannot define it as 100 okay so that's why we cannot assume that it will be 100 percent so the question will be like uh, what will be the probability to complete the event under 30 days so we know that z is equal to number of days given in the question that is 30 minus expected time we got the expected time that is path for a d g h is 29 days right 29 divided by uh, standard deviation is 2.4463 okay 2.4463 so this equation will be 1 divided by 2.4463 that will be i don't know just let let me put it in my calculator okay so you guys also try simultaneously so 1 divided by 2.446 is 0 0.4088 okay so 0 0.4088 so this is the z value score okay so the z value score is 0 0.4088 by keeping this value we have to refer the z chart okay, now in this i have my z chart okay now it's a 0. 4088 right so 0 0.4 is here these are the positive values and these are the negative values okay so z z is here so z can be in positive as well as negative right so my z score is 0 0.4088 okay so 0 0.4 is here right and 0 0.8 is somewhere here 0 0.8 all right so my value is 0 0.68439 so this is my value 0 0.68439 which means that is 68.4 percentage so my probability of completing the activity adgh will be 68.4 percentage to complete it within 30 days okay so this is how you calculate uh, z probability okay so let's uh, quickly go through this part again so part is project evolution review technique it is probabilistic and event oriented dependent on three times that is optimist most likely and pessimist optimist means positive denoted by a most likely is commonly occurring that is m and pessimist b is negative so time expected te is given by a plus 4m plus b divided by 6 right and the variance is tp minus to divided by 6 the whole square and standard deviation is tp minus to divided by 6 so standard deviation becomes uh, uh, square root of summation of variance so summation here it is because we have to consider critical activities okay so then we saw this example first we first we found out the time expected then we draw the project network diagram and then we find the critical path so after finding the critical path we know the total time expected that is 29 okay so then we find the variance of the critical path that is tp minus to divided by 6 the whole square and add this because we need summation okay then we take uh, standard deviation of the variance 
okay and in question if it is asked uh, find the probability that this critical path is uh, completed within 30 days so this is z is equal to x minus mu divided by sigma where x is number of days given in question u is the time expected okay and this is sigma that is standard deviation okay so after this we have to find the z value in the chart chart will mostly be given in the question so you need not worry okay so guys this is all about part uh, i know i have not been uploading videos uh, since a long time and i had my own reasons but let's just leave that behind and uh, i know you guys are doing good uh, so just keep on preparing okay and all the best and take care bye